<laughs> and watching some episodes of No Reservations with Anthony Bourdain on Netflix. I admire I admire Anthony Bourdain a lot as he's a bold, brave risk taker. I wish I could take risks like Anthony Bourdain. However, I was having streaming issues with my microwave. So I decided to head out to Goat Hollow. I had a great beer burger with blue cheese and caramelized onions cooked to perfection. I also enjoyed two Sam Adams beers. I like to call them Sammies. On the way out, I ran into my ex-wife Cynthia. Our divorce was amicable, but there's still pain on both sides. She was holding a yoga mat. This took me by surprise. I asked her why she was holding a yoga mat. She told me that she had recently grown interested in Eastern spirituality after visiting a 10,000 villages. It's part of moving on, she said. I would recommend Goat Hollow and anyone in Northwest Philadelphia looking for a good burger to down with a couple of Sammies who wishes he was as brave as celebrity chefs so he could move on too. People right there. That's cool. Um, so, uh, I haven't finished publishing my Yelp novel yet, um, but I have the final three installments. Um, do you guys want to hear those too? I don't know. Okay. Um, that sounded like it was like uh, 24 to 1. Um, and I don't know if it has to be unanimous in this bookstore. No? Okay. Okay. That's good. Um, oh, that looks like a good book. But I'll... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, I can recommend some to you later. Oh, thank, thank you. Jamie? Yeah. I like the rejection letters. Yeah. No, no, a friend of mine wrote this. I have many important friends. Oh. Oh. Like you, Carl. Oh. Maybe my most important friend. <laughs> Joseph A. Bank. <laughs> 4325 Germantown Avenue, yes. Chestnut Hill. Yes. <laughs> Despite being a nationally recognized retailer of Fines Men clothing, the Chestnut Hill Joseph A. Bank location manages to fit into the charming commercial district that is a true gem of Northwest Philadelphia. <laughs> I frequently came to Joseph A. Bank to purchase casual yet professional dress shirts and pleated pants such as the one I'm wearing when I worked as an actuary developing risk models for Canadian parking garage companies. However, in college at Ramapo College in North Jersey, I had a wonderful creative writing professor who encouraged me to follow that path. I recently did, transitioning my career as I now serve as a senior reporter for Contingencies Magazine the trade publication of the American Academy of Actuaries. It's a great work-life balance, and I finally get to pursue a dream I long tried to deny. I hope my twin sons, Bradley and Brian, B and B, B and B, <laughs> you got it. Follow their dreams too. I came to Joseph A. Bank with them as they are serving as the co-best men at my wedding. I was recently engaged to Tanya M. A woman I met on OkCupid. Okay Our relationship was tenuous at first due to my lack of a proper work-life balance despite the help of my, whole, my old company's human resources department, which provided a help desk for personal issues. It was also due to my concerns about Tanya M's past as she served 18 months in jail for voter fraud. But we soon fell in love and I went for a very quick engagement. Tanya M's both a strong woman and a damaged white-winged dove. <laughs> she makes me want to be a better man. The salesman, Ron, was very engaging, engaging and thorough when helping us pick out the right matching tuxedos for the ceremony. He was very good with Bradley, who laughed at the joke Ron made about Bradley looking like he could work at the Revel in Atlantic City as a mahjong dealer. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
and he was impeccably patient with Brian, who tore apart, to, tore apart the walls of a dressing room as he screamed that I wasn't his real dad and that he also wanted tuxedo tails. <laughs> Finally, all three of us were fitted. I agreed with Ron that we all looked sharp in our tuxedos. Brian looked extra great in his tuxedo tails and apologized for his actions and admitted that he was born of my seed <laughs> and said he loved me. Kids, oh am I right? <laughs> I would recommend the Joseph A. Bank Chestnut Hill location to anyone who is getting married and recognizes the fears and insecurities of his twin sons as they are going through a life change not of their making. <laughs> Valley Green Inn, somewhere in the woods, uh, Roxborough. Established roughly around 1680, the Valley Green Inn sits near the Wissahickon Creek in beautiful Wissahickon Park. It is a wonderful establishment filled with great food and drink alike. It is also a perfect spot for an engagement and or wedding reception. I should know because this is where I had my wedding reception. I was, I was recently wed to Tanya M. We met on OK Cupid some time ago. Our relationship was awkward at first, as she was recently released from jail for voter fraud, and I was struggling with the end of my 14-year marriage to Cynthia. However, we soon realized we made each other better people. She is my strong yet fragile white-winged dove, and I am her pillowy rock. <laughs> It was a beautiful ceremony along the banks of the Wissahickon Creek, despite the near drowning of a teenager who was swimming in the infamous Devil's Creek. Thankfully, the Philadelphia Water Rescue Team arrived promptly and performed CPR on the victim roughly three feet from our minister. Our minister was my brother Stephen, who recently became an ordained minister in the Episcopal Church even though we were raised Greek Orthodox. <laughs> I gripped my twin sons and co best men Bradley and Brian, B &B. B &B, uh, tightly as we watched life literally come back into this boy's once dead eyes. <laughs> the reception itself was great and intimate. All of our guests, including several members of my friends from Ramapool College, dubbed the Good Guy Gang, even though it was half girls, were enthralled with the great choice of hors d'oeuvres and the plethora of food options for the meal. We all especially loved the venison stew. They also made sure they had my favorite beer, Sam Adams, on tap. And although it was... Although it was my second wedding night, I made sure I downed a few Sammies. <laughs> we were initially afraid there might not have been enough space for our wedding band, Wax McGruff, a local jam band that was playing at the Grape Street Pub the night we really started our relationship. They actually had broken up after that show, but we convinced them, we convinced them to get back together in exchange for our HBO Go password. There was plenty of space for them, and they were magical throughout the whole night, especially when they did an extended version of our wedding song, Midnight Blue by Lou Graham. This was Tanya M's choice, as I am more of a fan of 90s hardcore bands like Snapcase and Earth Crisis and Metal. But Nils Lofgren of the E Street Band is on that album, and I must admit it's a catchy tune I wish would get played more on Ben FM. It was the best night of my life, and most importantly, Tanya M's. Aww. Th thank you. I would recommend the Valley Green Inn to anyone who's getting married to someone after dating them only for a little bit, as you've never made an impulsive decision in your life, and that was holding what was holding you back from becoming a fully formed adult, which is what we should all strive for. And this is um, the, the final chapter. Um, those of us who work in trade publications and also are into literary stuff call this the denouement. <laughs>
Um, I pronounced that right, right? Yeah. Or is it denouement? <laughs> Lenny's Hoagies. <laughs> Ridge Avenue, Roxboro. Lenny's Hoagies is a tiny little shop on Roxboro's Ridge Avenue. Don't blink because you might miss it. <laughs> and if you do, turn back around because it is simply the best hoagie shop in the entire Delaware Valley. I came here the day after my wedding with my new wife, Tanya M., and my twin sons, Bradley and Brian. B and B. B and B. <laughs> Tanya M. and I had planned on leaving for our honeymoon to Canada's Nova Scotia province. <laughs> But our plans fell through as I recently started a new job as a senior reporter at Contingencies Magazine, the official trade publication of the American Academy of Actuaries. I was an actuary for all of my adult life before I embarked on a career as a writer. Sorry. Oh, uh, that's okay. Um, in addition, Tanya M. needed to study to pass her certified fraud examiner licensing exam. <laughs> <laughs> she once served 18 months in jail for voter fraud after being pressured by her old boss to rig a suburban school board election, but now she seeks to fight on the side of justice. We each ordered Godfather hoagies, except for Brian who says he needed to lose weight so he could make his high school wrestling team. We'll have a talk about proper nutrition soon, don't you worry. <laughs> We then walked down to Gorgas Park, sat on the field, and watched as the setting sun illuminated the skies of Maniunk and Roxborough. Who needs to go on a honeymoon when you can have this? I would recommend Northwest Philadelphia to everyone. Th thank you, I'm Carl. I weep tears of joy every night of my life. I, d I go to sleep crying, but it's because they're tears of happiness. That's so beautiful, Carl. Th th thank you. I'm nominating Carl for the Pulitzer Prize for 2015 right now. I don't have the authority to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway because I think you deserve it. Carl. 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 Carl.